my friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion coming to you from beautiful Las Vegas. It is a hot day today, but I think we are going to have something that will be so cool we won't even care. I have wanted forever to see the property of Wayne Newton, Shenandoah. It actually closed before I could ever get out here to take a tour, but it's for sale and we get to check it out today. The history of this place is that Wayne Newton uh, in 1966 purchased five parcels of land and built this property. It's 39 acres and it took him till 1978 to complete it. And I think they even built on some buildings after, but that was just the main house. So we're gonna get to tour, thanks to our great friend Adam, this property, this massive property and what is for sale. So Days with Jordan the Lion, you all and the former Shenandoah property of Wayne Newton, it begins right now. When Wayne owned it, it used to say Shenandoah right there. How cool. Almost 40 acres. Oh wow, another cool gate. You used to have all kinds of animals out here on the property. How neat is this? Think of how much time you could have spent out here. Some of the animal cages up here. Crazy fact, uh, my friends Todd and Kat were actually looking at buying this place when it was for sale originally because of all their animals. They said just the upkeep and everything to keep it going per year was gonna be a lot. Like probably like a hundred grand. Jordan, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you since uh, we did the Johnny Cash house in uh, Casita Springs. Welcome to Shenandoah. Adam, I gotta say, you know, this is like, I was, I was introducing you video. This is like one of the main things I always wanted to do my whole life. I've heard about this house. And then you said you could make it happen. And I didn't doubt you, but I was like, no way. And here we are. I mean, I, I can't believe we're here. This is so cool of you to show us around. Yeah, well, I want to take you on a tour in this. And, you know, we have a lot of friends with a lot of cool houses. So uh, strap on and, and let's go for a fun ride. Now, as I was saying, I am a fan of the Vegas Vacation movie. And part of that is depicted in this house. So it's kind of cool to get to show some of that stuff as well as you know, I've seen pictures of the inside of this house. It's legendary. This house was like five parcels when it was built. And uh, it's probably the most legendary house, I think, in uh, in Vegas. It is indeed. And now you get to look at it, feel it, smell it. Feel like it. Wayne Newton. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, boy. So I will tell you that the uh, the current owner right now does not have the water on. So you can see the heart-shaped hot tub and the heart-shaped front pool with the rock fixtures and everything behind it and then the front of Shenandoah my golly <laughs> how amazing now before it was closed and before it was sold by Wayne they were doing tours here for fans. So that's what this is all about. You could get your photo here when you started or ended the tour. And I believe the cars and everything are still here. How fun. Let's go on in. So where I was just gonna show you us walking in was that door but I thought, hey, why not walk in through the front door, right? So if you've seen Vegas Vacation, she comes, gets brought in through this way around here. And this is the actual front of the property. So there's a fountain over here. I was showing you us entering from the back of the property. But if Ellen would have appeared here, because Clark was out gambling, this is what she would have seen. 
And yes, Wayne was right by the airport. So people would constantly be flying by the house. But here is the proper front entrance. If we were the guest of the Newtons. Now I've already got to walk through it a little bit without you guys to see some of the secrets, secret passageways and things. So I'll share those with you, of course. And I guess if he was waiting on a visitor, they would have sat right there. So let's go on in. Come on in, Jordan. It's a little warm out. Show us around, yeah. yeah come on in. Remember uh, National Lampoon's Vegas Vacation? Absolutely, one of my favorites. Here it is, come on. Look at that, we've got the end right there on the door, or on the floor, and double staircases that lead up to the second floor. The curtains and everything. That actually leads up to Wayne's bedroom. So here we go. This is what you would have seen in Vegas Vacation. If you have nothing to do later, please come back. I'm gonna make pasta. <laughs> that is so cool. Look how high the ceilings are, that beautiful chandelier. I love the blue curtains too. And there's Wayne Newton's fireplace. <laughs> if you remember, this is the scene where <laughs> Wayne's telling her that he's never been truly happy and then presents her with a lock of his hair in a box <laughs> and then clark and eddie drive the tour van in through the house so this was the main entertaining area and you can tell there must have been a painting up here because there's two notches that would have held it so we have a lot to see let me take you in here first. Wayne used to put a lot of his awards and everything up on there. How cool is this? <laughs> We've had a lot of awards there. A nice view out the window. And then this actually leads us into an old school bathroom, that old tiling. Kind of small, but you can tell there would have been photos on the wall. There's a couple of nails still there and then a mirrored ceiling. <laughs> There's our toilet. I guess they took the, uh, the seat with them. So then we walk in here, and this was another entertaining room where he would throw parties, but they showed me that there was a secret door there with an office behind it. So there was a fireplace in here. This actually leads you back into that living room that we were looking at. So check this out. Hidden room, wine cellar. Some of Wayne's art. And then more Places for awards, the ceilings, so much to see, really. Little entertainment system back there, 
So now, see, that's the uh, little hidden door we came in. And it's a, it's a hidden office, you can see, because there's a desk here. But he had a view, so it wasn't completely hidden. So now, let me see if I can get some light and show you the cellar. Yeah, as I was gonna say, most of the things here are all motion activated. Welcome to Wayne Newton's wine cellar. What do we have here? Oh, just a little piece of wood. Thought it was a little sign or something. Let's go back up. So now I'll show you the other side. Where the dining room was. Where we entered the Newton Inn. The dining room. Really nice chairs, I really like those. And then a picture from the movie. So now we're heading into the kitchen. Oh, hey there. This is probably where they made the pasta for the movies. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now Wayne was known for being a, uh, a pretty good cook. He loved to cook, so. This is not just uh, an area that would have seen some hired help cooking. Wayne would have been cooking here, so. A fleet of Vikings over here. That is awesome. Even down to the refrigerator has the same type of paneling and everything as all the cabinets. So now we'll take this path, since we just came out of here, we'll go the long way around just because I love this room so much. So you guys probably want to see Wayne's bedroom. I know I did when I came in, so let's go. This is it. Wayne Newton's master bedroom. All those years that he lived here. This would have been it. just because we're nosy. <laughs> then here's his view. And then he and his wife had separate bathrooms. So this was Wayne's. I was surprised because I expected like a big WN on the door or something, but nothing. Nothing like that. Marble shower. Superstar mirror. There you go, you're in Wayne Newton shower right now. You know what we gotta do. Don't shame, oh baby, don't shame. 
say the word. Oh. All right, shower's done. There, he could check himself out after a shower. There's Wayne's hot tub, his jacuzzi. Overlooking where we came in. The pool, heart-shaped pool. And then that was even mirrored. Right over there in the corner. Wayne's throne. Scott Michaels were here, that'd be getting ripped off with brute force right now. Now this is kind of crazy. So when I was looking around here and we went into where the clothing was and everything, first off, look how much space he had for wardrobe. But what's interesting is that inside this, there was a little safe. But I say little safe and I mean little safe because when we looked in it, it's so freaking small. It's only like an inch or two inches deep. See? Like, what could you put in there? Jewelry, a little bit of money. Maybe a handgun standing up or something. Who knows? I just found this piece of glass that he would have divided his stuff up amongst. You can see it says gloves, Bichon scarves, solid scarves, multicolored scarves. All right, so now let's go see where his wife's bathroom was which was right down the hall their bedroom was right there of course so they even had an elevator look at that and a peacock but an elevator wayne newton's elevator so this was his wife's room bathroom Full glass mirror over here. I mean, full mirror, full wall mirror. Now she had a little, uh, more in her bathroom. And I think she actually had a better view from her tub. And then this is her dressing room. I wonder if anything's left behind. Okay, well. Now let's leave Mrs. Newton's bathroom. Let's show you where... They told me they thought the, uh, the housekeeper or nanny would have stayed. Which was across their bedroom. When we came in here, we came in right above the front door. So right over here would have been those rooms. Now this to me felt like it should have been like the master. But, and I like the tile and everything. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, it just kind of felt like this seemed like more of a master bedroom to me. But not to them. I 
Then I guess the bathroom would have been over here. I haven't been back here yet. Oh! Nice storage. Everything for your clothes, but look at that tub. That is awesome. That is awesome. And then another view out here of the pool. Now let's go outside and look around the grounds outside. We've pretty much seen everything inside. We're also going to go out to where the museum was and his airplane is. I can't believe I got to be in here. This is so cool. So down we go. So I just noticed this when you come through the dining room, that's where the elevator ends up, it is right over here by the kitchen and the walk-in. Now right out back behind the property is right where we basically walked in to begin the video and I showed you the, the uh, heart-shaped pool and everything, here was the tennis courts. Definitely seen better days, but Wayne would have got some of his exercise out here. Kind of cool to see. So when you come out the back, he had this pond out here. And a little walking trail that takes you out to a kind of a golden statue out in the middle. Of this island out here. Almost like you could take a golf cart out here. You could have a wedding right over there. Look at this. I wonder how often Wayne would come out and enjoy this. Then as I'm walking back to the main house, I just noticed this a little swing. Wayne Newton swing, it's tree swing. So on top of the lake we already saw, then there's this lake over here with a little lake house. He said we were free to roam the grounds. And then as we head back towards the property, we're actually going to make a left. I want to show you some more of the animal cages out here. You can see it's all drained and everything, but there's a little bridge that goes over there. There's water, there's cages and everything because he had so many animals out here, not just the Arabian horses, but Let's go take a look around real quick. I feel like I can safely say we won't have this chance again, so. And there's the proper entrance that we went in. Here were the stables. 
So now we've made our way over to what was the museum with all the cars. Check this out. Used to be where all the vehicles were. Yeah, even uh, Johnny Cash's limo. Yeah, that's crazy. You can see where they would have been parked. You can see some of the, the stains, but I think he, um, I think I saw a video where he was auctioning a bunch of his cars, like 13 cars through Barrett Jackson. He had some kind of like custom or one of a kind cars, but the plane is still here. That kind of blew my mind. This is so cool. So I assume those are all garage doors that he could have brought all the uh, cars in through. Yeah, and cars would go this way, this way, it was filled. You could have well over 60 cars. Yeah, I'm not sure how many he had. Do you know how many he had here at, at no, one time? I don't. I Last I saw, I think he said, at least I saw him say he was selling 13 of them. So I imagine how many he must have had if he could let 13 go. So we'll be walking into what represents an uh, airport terminal. Oh, is that what he was going for with yeah. this? Yeah, see, look at this, right here, with this. Oh, yeah. Very creative. Oh, yeah, there's your front counter. And get your tickets, and get on board, and fly wherever you want. That is awesome. This is so cool, man. <laughs> Talk about exclusive experiences. You really do feel like you're walking up a tarmac to uh, board a plane right here. Fokker F-20 Fellowship Jet. Flying, but uh, we could if we wanted. <laughs> that is neat. You can see all of Vegas outside. I don't think Wayne was an amateur pilot, from what I've read, but uh, wouldn't have surprised me, honestly. Jordan, I need to get off this flight, but I want to thank you for coming and you know. Please come back again. Dude, thank you, man. I, I just, I can't believe that you let me share this with everybody. It's awesome. so cool. Awesome. Glad you're enjoying it. What you guys didn't know is we had uh, some other people with us while we were seeing this. They were kind of well known and they didn't want to be in the video. So I respected that, but look at this. You can see Wayne's logo in the glass. You can see it's a WN and it's got, it's made into like a dream catcher. I love it. Even on the TVs, it had the N, the Newton N. And if we peek behind this wall, be there. And that is Wayne Newton's jet. Thank you for flying with Newton Air. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this very unique opportunity. I thought it was so awesome. I can't believe that Adam got us in here. So cool of the homeowner to allow us to do this. And I have another big surprise tomorrow. So thank you all for watching my tour from Wayne Newton, Shannon Doe. We'll see you next time. Have a great night. Bye.
and goodbye.